Hello everybody, welcome to my game videos channel Inspector. Now we will continue Call of Horror game with part 4. Our last checkpoint was inside this old ruined church where we found a note page on this huge bell. After reading that note we learned that the writer getting crazy about someone named Anton and he almost lost his mind. Okay, we will get out the church to continue and I should follow the road at just opposite direction. I hope we don't meet any bad tempered ghost, smoky, flaming or whatever you can call. Yes, this is the point where I'm sure there will be a note page belong to our journal in the game. Because if the map shows the lines of the road till there, it means I shall visit there too. Right side, we will follow the road. I am running and going fast. And I am not expecting any bad surprise on the way. Sometimes it's getting stronger like this and I barely see my front. We should go left. There is a totem post and where is totem post there should be a note page nearby. My guess was true. Here the note is. Let's read and learn more. It's about a delusional patient from a doctor's note. He mentions about him who was an agent named as Vitaly, I think. He claims that he saw strange and absurd things at his investigation when he was in a mission. He also talking about a paranormal friend which is talking to him always or it is a just an imaginary friend. But we cannot know what is it exactly just right now. Doctor is saying that agent has evidences about what happened to nine hikers who are found dead in the Diato Pass incident at Ural Mountains. My theory for now is we are playing as Vitali, but I cannot tell the exact time which are playing now. It may be before or after the incident. Maybe it's the same time as the incident happens. I hope I will have some answers at the end of the game, at least. There's the coordinate curving again. Let's check it if we have been there before. Yes, we collected it already. What I was saying is that till now there is no 100%, not even 20% explanation what's going on here. And what happened to the, those hikers who were exploring the area?
Look, there is a big hole there. Where are the creepy sounds coming from, I think? It's like underground hell. Those voices and sounds are really scary and chilling. It's like the weather. My hands are shaking with such a scary combination. We are alone with ourselves here and only a crazy or psychopath character can wander in such a haunted place alone. Okay, this voice, which belongs to the famous artist Sean Pin, is talking with us sometimes. But I'm not sure if it is our splitted character voice or someone is trying to communicate us like we are in coma or a machine like an Amos in Assassin's Creed. Again, totem post, so we will find another page, I think. I can hear the paid sound. Here's the page. Let's read. The weather today clearly got worse, just as our moods. We're all a little scared of what happened last night. There were even some suggestions of going back, but that was outvoted. We set off at around 10 a.m., going the same Mansi trail as we did earlier. We encountered a small camp of a local hunter during our hike. We asked if he had hunted the other night, but he said no. He told us a story about a ghost prowling through the forest in the form of a bright fog. Obviously, this did not make us feel better. We kept on going forward. Today, the hike was slow and difficult. The visibility is close to zero. The temperature dropped to minus 24 centigrade. Around 4 p.m. we had to start looking for a place to set up a camp. We found a good spot on the verge of the forest, covered from the wind. As exhausted as we were, we began setting it up. We were too tired to dig up a hole for the campfire. We ate dinner in our tents. We had no strength for any discussions or thoughts. At night, I clearly heard someone walking around the tent. I heard them whispering my name. I do not want to talk about it with the rest of the group. They'll think I'm going crazy. This girl was with the ski hikers group and it's her diary note. She is mentioning about voices and beings around them. It sounds like the ghost we encounter in the game. But our voices she heard same as the voice which talking to us. I don't know. I don't know even how our voice in the game. Hmm. The radio tower. I was wondering how it looks like from the beginning. I suppose it was a communication tower with basement. Maybe the section 22 described in the notes where experiments done. Before I enter the place, first I will explore the surround. It looks like a ruined complex, but it can be a simple comm center with a few rooms. There is nothing special around the tower, as I see. We can enter inside. There was a gate, I think, here. Uh, 
Aha, uh -huh, there's a ghost standing still, not the dangerous kind. And another coordinate again, starting with 55. We collected it also. Ghost is waiting us at the entrance. They are not dangerous, but after they disappear, something terrifying happens. So I will be cautious. This ramp is the only way to pass other side, but we cannot jump back to run away. We will see. Ghost disappeared and there is a note behind. As I understand, there was a failure experiment and they destroyed all the evidence documents and sent the subject to another place. Why scientists are so cruel? Oh, freaky place. It's not nice. It's not nice. All the wind voices stopped. And there is a narrow dark corridor ahead. Oh my god, what was that? What's up? What's happening? Ah! Oh, what happened? What the hell? Did you see it? Oh my god. Oh my god. It was one of those bad ghosts. Now I should run directly to the end like hell. Okay, run, 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 it's coming, it's coming, enter the room quickly. Yes, he disappeared, oh, thanks. It's an interrogation room. I'm not on the table to read. I am an empty wreck, made in his image, but not alike. A servant, obedient to one master. My body is a shell, and I am ready to absorb him. Now I see the plan. I see the magnitude of devastation. The Creator summons me, and I want to be his food. I am humming his tune. I am looking at the world through his eyes. I drink the blood of his enemies and taste the rotting bodies. I feel the sin sprouting under my skin. I hear screams in my head. I hear them calling me. I hear the calling of the ones that through him have already found their eternal shelter. Free them, my lord. Free them and take me instead. Fulfill your revenge at the hour of my death. An army of angels comes out from the orange light their song is made of one powerful voice. I feel their presence, their twisted faces, their black eyes drilling into my consciousness. They demand to finish the work. Oh, his presence is overcoming me. So poor and defenseless. What have they done to you? What harm? There is a place. You were there, and so was I. A, a huge gate, and the Creator hidden behind it. Only those few who touched him could understand, but you could. You understood, and I understood through you.
There are evidences of possession by something or somebody. The combination of anomaly and experiments results of possessed people who can be scientists, soldiers or prisoner subjects. Oh shit, the door is locked or unlocked. I hope it will not be an escape the room game now. Oh, it's our steps. Sometimes I'm thinking I am a ghost also, and the silhouettes, which are good intended ghosts, are normal people but I can see them so from my dimension. Or I am so confused that I am talking like a nut. <laughs> now I should visit those caves. I complete all objects locations and pages in west, east and south regions and leaving the Kolat mountain at the north for last destination. There are many cave entrances at northeast where I should go and check. Time does not heal wounds, as I've recently learned. This truth was pounded into me by pain, cruelty and lies. I learned from this. I remembered. It nearly touched the essence of my understanding, becoming the revelation of truth. When they dragged me down the corridor with my shattered bones, when they operated on me to observe the misplacement of my organs. When they put the worst nightmares into my head. When they closed me up, put me together again and revived me over and over to test the limits of my endurance. And when finally, after so many years, they told me my wife was dead. Time does not heal wounds. I just wanted to imagine how it how it can be painful what they did on him and after so many experiments he survived all of this and learned that he lost his wife the best motivation for revenge I think I have changed my idea again now I am changing oftenly in this game because it started to drive me crazy I think the character we are playing is possessed by something or somebody and we are doing what he is asking to do or something like that. Can it be possible or what? I don't know even what I'm saying now. <laughs> okay another campfire and ten to save the game. We can fast travel now where we want. I collected all note pages I suppose and visit every point in west, south and east. And near the first tent region. We will teleport to the first tent to check the location left unchecked. Coordinates starting with 7 and 14 remained. Lucky 7 is the Colot Mountain and 14 is the caves here on the map. Those half circles represent the entrances of the caves. I know because I wanted to enter but I couldn't dare to enter. They are dark and narrow passages I think and it's very dangerous to meet with some of those bad guys.
Oh, that sounds are really, really disturbing. It sounds like videos which are posted on social media. Some voices coming from sky as closing very huge door or some kind of wall is moving or changing the position. It reminds me the parallel universe theory. In this game we don't have jumping skill unfortunately, therefore we cannot jump over them to continue this way. We will look around from that road here. It will be little longer but that's the only way for caves. Nothing to do but run. Let's check our compass. I'm not using it for directions. It's useful to see if there is a phenomena close to us. If compass getting crazy it means there is something wrong nearby. This voice will remain unexplained forever, I think. How it's happening and where it comes from? Maybe the rock formation changing places in the region because of the anomaly and creating such strange sounds. Again, the warning of all tribes that if you continue, you will be screwed. There are three trunks as like stakes, which can be also a warning like you will sit on them if you continue searching. Let's check if we found it. Yes, we did. Eons. That's how long I spent suspended in nothingness. And then this one time, a pale, dim glow filled it. I felt as if some consciousness started soaking through an orange cloud into my brain, dripping with heavy drops, not letting me pass away nice and peaceful. I fought with myself. I had no strength to open my eyes. And finally, after processing the situation on and on, I realized 
I have no eyes. If I didn't get Shan wrong, he said that he realized he is blind when he came back from some kind of dimension where that orange mist covered everywhere. Dimensions, anomaly, ghosts, parallel universe, what the hell they did here? And how he survived from all of this? Maybe we are really blind and cannot see anything except those ghosts. It can be an explanation for all of this. This campsite location is wonderful. It's near the entrance of caves. If we are dead, we will start from here. Nearest entrance is at opposite side. There is a passage, I think. Our cave trip has started! Yay! It's not gonna be easy. We should be very careful. Oh! Again! Oh my god! Oh! And? Are we dead? Hey! Did you see it? There was a light near the note pages, like something sticking that notes around. It was same next to the church bell. Somebody was preparing these totems. Let's read our note. Wow, collapsing dimensions and worlds, how it can be possible? If Anomaly was real, then he's, here is really weird things happening, but what if all of them are only illusions, resulted from experiments? What if they open a gate from hell kind dimension, 
and they start to pass to our world by the help of Anomaly. They are our burning steps of our friends. They are here, I, as I guess. If we walk close enough, they chase and attack us and we cannot run away. I will not go that side. I have to walk around it. Oh shit. It's coming, run, 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 and hide. Oh, he didn't see us. If we have place to run, we can escape. But if not, we are dead. That's it. Again, it's coming. Come here. Come, come. I hope it will see us and continue to come so we can sneak around him. Yes, we passed it. Oh, another one. We passed very quickly. He couldn't see us. No, 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 not now. He tired. Come on. Oh, yes, we recovered our stamina back. There is some kind of altar there. And the way here. I prefer altar, of course, because of not page. Oh, again, another one. I jumped just on its arms. Even he shocked. I hope he's not coming. Yes, there is a note. Read it quickly, please. I'm spending my time in the Institute on long walks in the park. Only here I can find solace. Only in the shadows of the trees. My thoughts are peaceful when I see how the sun brushes the green leaves and the wind covers my face in a gentle, warm glow. The doctors say the worst is behind me. The breakdown was temporary. It's difficult for me to say what triggered this state. I know you'll never forgive me for what I've done. The tragedy that I have contributed to shall never find any justification nor explanation. I can only cover it up with madness. But I am aware that this is a pathetic excuse and I'm not able to hide behind it. I take full responsibility for what happened. And I am prepared to be punished. The doctors, however, say I will probably not leave the Institute. You must know I would rather rot in prison a hundred times for what I have done to you. I have to confess, I tricked you. I knew you would never, ever want to hear what I have to say to you. That is why I sent my friend with this letter to your sister, and after a lot of persuasion, she agreed to read it to you, to you. I thank her from the bottom of my heart for this. I'm ending this letter. I want to bore you no more. I love you and believe that someday, hopefully, I will be able to tell you all this in person. Luckily, my friend Anton is by my side at all times. He was the one that went to your sister. I hope this letter finds you both well and in good health. I wish you all the best. Forever yours, Vitali. I agree. We are Vitali and we have a friend named Anton which we don't know if it is imaginary or it's our split character but I hope at the final part of the game we will learn everything or at least we will learn something who we are what we are doing here and what happened totally till the final part I hope you enjoy my video 
I'm waiting your comments, likes and subscriptions to give you more and more quality videos. If you have another explanations or another theories about what's happening here or what happened to the hikers and what's going on in the game, please don't hesitate to leave comments and explain. I will be glad to hear all of them. Thanks again to watch my video. See you at the final part. Bye.